What is up guys, Shaddix here, and welcome back to another episode of our S.H.I.E.L.D. playthrough, where today we're actually going to start off uh, here at Wedgehurst Station. Uh, I want to test something real quick. Uh, it's this, right here. Slowpoke appeared. Um, now, typically that doesn't appear, or as far as I know, shouldn't really appear unless you have access to the Isle of Armor. Which I don't, according to my bag. So, I don't really know what this is all about. But, we're gonna see if we can battle this thing. I don't know what level it's going to be is the problem, so this could be a little iffy. I think we have a couple of Pokeballs. I don't know what level it's going to be, so hopefully it's not level 60 like it would be in the Isle of Armor. Because that, um, yeah, that really wouldn't be very good. Oh, it's level 12. Oh, that's interesting. I remember it being a little bit of a higher level. I wonder if maybe the, um... Uh, the level, like, scales to whatever level you are currently in the game. I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? And I'm surprised I was able to put this thing asleep. Alright, Slowpoke, fast asleep. Epic. Um, I don't want to try and weaken it, because I don't know how powerful my moves are going to be, since I'm fully evolved here. So, we're just going to use Pokeballs on it. We have 44, we can put this thing to sleep. It's only level 12. It shouldn't be too big of a problem. I hope. Alright, I'm not really worried about actually catching this thing, so I do think I am going to go ahead and uh, try and lower its health a little bit. I don't know if you specifically need to catch it, uh, but oh well. Alright, Meteor Mash does not do a ton of damage, although that raises my attack, so it might do a little bit more next time, especially if you crit. How are you out here avoiding attacks when you're literally asleep? Something about that just doesn't seem right. Alright, we got Meteor Mash again. We officially cannot hit it again, because then it will, uh, it will go down. We will try and catch it. Three... Alright, we got it. Nice. Slowpoke is out of the way. Alright, well, I mean, at least we have the ability to go to the Isle of Armor if we do get the passes now, so that's out of the way. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to... Okay, so yeah, we don't have a pass. Alright, so we are back here in the wild area. We're gonna head on over to Motostoke now. Uh, I just wanted to see if it would allow us uh, to go to the Isle of Armor. Uh, not that we really could have done anything there. Everything there is pretty much way, way too high a level for us. Alright, we're all healed up and we are arriving at Motostoke. Awesome. We're still, like, nowhere near the first gym, are we? We still gotta get all the way down past the cave. Oh, I forget how long it takes just to get to the first gym. My first playthrough, I think it took, like, three hours. Alright, I'm gonna heal up here at the Pokemon Center. No, I guess Sonya's gonna stop us. Why, Hello! There's a move I need to learn here, I believe. Oh, it's not even at the Pokemon Center. Where is it? Okay, well, we're going to go and look for it after this. I think it's, like, at the record shop or something like that. Uh, Rotami and our kind of Rotom informant station. Uh, it's a handy machine for trainers who can even use one to customize your league card, which I never did my first playthrough. Yep, Motostoke, Moto, Moto there we go, is, no, sure is big, there we go, I can't even speak today, or read, for that matter. There's so much storyline stuff. Okay, well, let's uh, heal up at the Pokemon Center, get this, like, on the list or whatever. Our team actually isn't half bad. It's kind of sad that we do have two water types on our team, but the Clefable is really um, the star attraction here. It's going to be really, it's going to be really helpful during the beginning of the game here. I'm here for the gym challenge, correct. Yeah, stop, uh, stop stopping me. I just want to get to the record shop or wherever it is I gotta go. I don't actually have any idea where that is. Alright, yep, look at that scenery, though. That is so nice. Alright, uh, let's see. That's a flower shop. That looks like haircuts, clothes, uh, records. Ew. I uh, can give you something nice. Try using it on your Pokemon. Focus energy. There we go. Okay, focus energy. If we use that, it increases. The user takes a deep breath and focuses so that critical hits land more easily. There we go. That is something 
I definitely uh, need to teach too far-fetched. Uh, give me that, like, right now. Uh, focus energy. Thank God far-fetched can actually learn it, because that would have been just awful if it couldn't. Uh, we'll get rid of Leer for now, because Sand Attack can actually come in uh, pretty handy early game. Alright. Now I'm wondering, the faster we actually um, evolve this thing, when it evolves, do we get access to all the moves? Kind of like, that is another record shot. What the heck? Okay, do you give me one? Yes. But yeah, I'm wondering if uh, when we evolve Farfetch'd, if we have access to all of the moves, kind of like we did with Clefable. Uh, I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you. Show me the way, partner. How'd you even become champion, dude? Like, you don't even know your own region. Ooh, a Mystic Water. That will actually help. I'll probably put that on... Oh, do I want it on Goldeen or Arascuta? Or Barascuta. Or Seeking. Alright, well, I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. Alright, hi Hop, how you doing? You made it to the Monastery Stadium where open ceremony is going to be held. Everyone will be watching, correct. The whole world, correct. Um, don't challenge me to a battle. Okay, I actually want to swap out what Pokemon is in front. Alright, swap... Because if I use Focus Energy, I can, like, even if the Pokemon faints, I can use a Revive. So, that should be pretty easy. I have two Revives, a couple Potions. That should be good. Alright, we're going to go sign up for this uh, Battle Challenge thing. Packed with Gym Challengers? Yeah, and almost none of them make it to uh, the bat or to the end. Is Wait a minute, the lady in the black jacket back there, is that Marini? Not Marini, uh... I don't remember what her name is. It's something somewhere around there, though. And then we have this doofus. So for, like, half the game beforehand, I did not know that that, uh, the dude in the pink there, I didn't know they were a, uh, a gym challenger. At all. Actually. Alright, let's, uh, just choose 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Why not? Uh, yeah, that's, it matches my uniform in, uh, sword. Please wear this challenger band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. Opening ceremony for the gym challenge is held here tomorrow. Alright, so we have to go to the Badoo. And what is the Badoo in this region? Like, we had a couple Badoo outside of our house. It is her, yeah, because she's got more Poco. Oh, cool. I didn't realize you actually, uh, this, you saw her this early into the game. I mean, you saw BD, which I, I believe is his name. The, the one in the pink there. Voodoo drop-in is this way, if you would follow me so kindly. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Alright, we shouldn't really need to do anything else before setting up uh, and getting ready for this gym challenge. I don't actually remember what happens this early in the game, because I haven't done it in a while. You know, it's weird. You, We hear about the hero very few times. Like, more often you hear about the Pokemon themselves. I like the music they have for this, though. It's really nice. Sure, I'll sign up for a battle against all you guys in the middle of this hotel. I'm sure the hotel manager will appreciate this. Oh, you nice. Heal up my Pokemon? That's cool. Oh, we're doing a two-on-two -two battle. I don't like that. Um, hey, I'm sorry, Hop, but I might actually hit your Pokemon here. <laughs> Just so I can get the extra critical hits in. Is that going to be frowned upon? Because Hop should probably only have, like, two Pokemon, right? I can't actually tell, because I have six. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to use Focus Energy again. And then I should be able to attack his Wooloo. Unless they take down the Wooloo, which actually might be helpful. Alright, we use Focus Energy. Wooloo, I don't know what you're going to use, but please don't attack one of them. I really wish you didn't do that. That's big rude. Alright. Luckily, we are faster than Wooloo, though. Alright. Fight. Super effective. And Peck is super effective. We're just gonna be... Or not super effective. Regular effective. Let's attack Wooloo. 
Nice. Okay, we'll do take a little bit of damage. Yes, okay, there's one crit. This could actually help us a lot. If I just sit here and we gang up on Hop's Pokemon, I feel a little bad, but I don't want to have to deal with a regular Farfetch'd this whole time, because it's not going to be fun if that's the case. Alright, um, I still need to make sure that I take care of this uh, Scorbunny as fast as possible as well. Alright, Scorbunny is really fast, though, is a problem. He's probably going to end up taking out that Nicket, and it makes me kind of nervous. Oh, I didn't even get a critical hit. Okay, so I essentially need to critical hit the Scorbunny twice. Or once now, and then I got a critical hit to Zigzagoon. Okay, he took down one Pokemon. I don't like that because now if I don't take out the score bunny, it's not going to be looking very good for me. That that was a crit, 100%, right? Yes, yes it was. Sweet. No, Zigzagoon, you're supposed to attack the score bunny. Come on. Alright, so I need one more crit. I don't think he's going to one-shot the Zigzagoon, so I have... Like, two more attacks. I at least have one or two on Zigzagoon and one on Scorbunny. Scorbunny use Tackle. Don't do a lot of damage. That did more than I would have liked. Okay, so I didn't get the crit on Scorbunny. That's big rude. And you're going to use Leer. I think if I don't crit you, I get two more attacks on the Zigzagoon. So I should be fine. You have another Pokemon? Okay, um... Man, we just gotta hope for a crit here. That's all we can do. Don't kill it. Come on, crit hit. That's the crit. Yo, our Pokemon's evolving this game. Thank you, Hop, for helping me evolve my Farfetch. I appreciate it, buddy. Galarian Farfetch before the first badge. That's that's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna super effective Fury Cutter the Zigzagoon to get this battle over with. Frickity's gonna use Leer, that's fine. All right, Zigzagoon, I, I might as well just use Peck. I think it's got a higher um, accuracy. Not that it matters, because Rookity took it down, but we did get three crits in. That should count, I hope. If it doesn't, we can all cry together. We'll have a little community cry session. Oh, heck yeah, you're evolving. Yo, Galarian Farfetch'd this early in the game. You're kidding me. That's like two of the harder evolutions that we would have had to do done already. We did them first. Clefable was going to be a little more difficult because it's based off of friendship. And then Farfetch'd is just Farfetch'd. Sorry, Hop. I'm sorry I had to take down half your team, but you know what? Thank you for the sir fetched. I appreciate it. What are we learning here? Iron Defense? Might as well. Uh, what are we going to learn here? Uh, we'll get rid of Sand Attack. I don't actually need Focus Energy anymore. I don't need the crits. So we'll get rid of that too. Alright, learned Iron Defense. Epic. Is that all the moves we were going to learn? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, well, we meet this lady anyway. Team Meal is probably one of the most... Uh, Marnie, not Marini. Okay. My bad. But Team Meal is probably one of the more wholesome uh, groups that you have to take on during the um, any Pokemon game. We can... Because, I mean, they're only, like, trying to hype up their person from their hometown, really, and try and get people out of her way so she can do better. They aren't actually necessarily bad. They can just be annoying sometimes, that's for sure. Uh, we must ask that gym challengers wear their uniforms for all official events. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and put on our uniform for the first time. Epic Games. Hello, Hop. How you doing? Looking snazzy with those numbers. Sharp as a pin. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, let's move on with the ceremony, though. I have uh, gyms to battle. I forgot. This is actually a uh, shield. There'll be a two different yeah gym leaders. The ice type lady on the end, and then like that ghost type person there. Alistair. Yeah, he's one of the people uh, that you don't battle in sword. And Melanie as well. Uh, you battle with somebody else. I don't remember their names, though. Here we go. It's the big moment.
they do show a lot of the gym trainers here. Okay. So we got me. I didn't see Hop anywhere on the field. Wait, was that it? Oh, okay, yeah, that was it. Well, that was a short little ceremony. Okay. All right, are we finally on our way to Turf Field? Nice. Okay, so we can go get our first gym badge. I think we're ready for that. Oh, no, we have to go all the way through, like, the whole cave system and everything, too, don't we? Dang it. We are ready to go through Route 3 in the Galar Mines. Let's have a battle. Sure. We'll battle with my uh, Pokemon you helped me evolve. Thank you very much, Hop. All right, how many? Does Hop only have three? Yeah, he does. We'll lose Gorbany and Rickety. And we got ourselves a Surfetched already. If we just sit here and use Fury Cutter the whole time, it should, like, do more and more damage every time we use it as well. Which is going to be super helpful. Wow, oh, you got a crit. I was about to say, that did so much more damage than I would have liked. Alright, we'll lose down. Next, I would assume is Score Bunny, and Surfetched is actually going to get pretty hurt during this battle. Oh, no, you're using Rookity. Okay. So we can bring out something totally different for uh, Score Bunny without losing uh, the Fury Cutter that's doing a lot of damage. Wow, that did so much more damage than I would have liked. Also a crit. God dang! I like how that's not very effective and, like, we almost took down a Rookity in one shot. Alright, I'm hoping as long as we don't miss this next attack... Alright, we're good. Maybe Fury Cutter will do, like, a whole lot of damage to Score Bunny. And we gained a level, so, you know, our attack is a little higher as well. And hopefully our speed is uh, a wee bit higher, because we definitely need that in order to outspeed the Score Bunny. I don't want to heal because healing is actually going to take away uh, the damage we're doing here. Oh, nice. You want to have a quick attack because I was low. That was big dumb. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't do much damage. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, you're going to use Growl. Okay. Well, that was a big mistake. As long as I hit this, uh, game over. Boom. Okay. Score buddy's down. We didn't have to use anything but Galarian Farfetch. Or Surfetch. My bad. I'm not used to the fact that this thing's got an evolution yet. You're gonna heal up my Pokemon, right? Because I, um... My Surfetch is looking a little weak now. Alright, you got yourself a League card. Thank you. And no, uh, I don't think he healed me up, so we're gonna go and heal up again real quick. Now we're going into an area with a lot of rock types and fire types, like, uh, Roly Coley and everything, so maybe we should be using one of our water types as we go through this route. Uh, let's see here. Which water type knows the better moves right now? It's probably gonna be Goldeen. Oh, uh, actually, this Arakudo knows Aqua Jet, and that's actually super handy. We might have to go with Aracuda. I know Goldeen might be a little bit better, but with the priority move of Aqua Jet, I think that's uh, going to be what helps us out quite a bit here. And we can go ahead and give the Mystic Water to that as well. All right, now that Aracuda's holding the Mystic Water, we should be all set. Now, we do have to be careful. I don't want to run into any of these grass types here, the Glossifers. Uh, Zigzagoon, we should be able to take down. Roly Coley should be fine, and this lady needs to be able to see me. There we go. I don't know what type of Pokemon are going to be on this route. I know uh, Roly Coley is going to be one we can take down pretty easily. Okay, Vulpix, so there's fire types and everything down here too. That's nice. All right, Aracuda is going to get some, get in some good XP between now and Turfield. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this battle. I do want to take a peek and see what level uh, Diglett, Wooloo, and Goldeen evolve, and Aracuda, because I have no idea, actually. All right, so I just looked it up. Arakuda evolves at level 26. Uh, Diglett also evolves at level 26. Wooloo evolves at level 24. And Goldeen evolves at level 33. So that's not too bad, I think. All right, what do we got here? What item is that? Ooh, heal balls. Uh, Poke balls are still going to be useful because if we run into a shiny, it's not like we're going to want to fail the shiny. So we're going to want to catch things like that. Other than that, I'm not sure if we're going to be catching anything during this playthrough. Other than, like, um, 
the legendary in the post game. Alright, let's not get attacked by the Growlithe. Can I go through here? There should be a little bit of a Sparky Sparky Burn Heal. Nice. Okay, what's that move up there? That could be useful. TMs and uh, TRs are definitely going to be uh, coming in a lot of handy here. Alright, we have this lady here. Hello, Sonya. You looked like a real out ace out there during the opening ceremony? Yeah, it was pretty short, though. So I'm not really sure how that works. It's, I find it funny that they talk about this building in the warehouse and we never actually get to go there. I kind of wish we would get to go there at some point just to kind of see just a little bit. This path right here in front of us looks like it would open up, but uh, I don't think it does. I always forget the escape rope is a key item in this game. That's actually super useful. Okay, beat up. No thanks. I'm wondering if I should do berry tree stuff to get some berries. Okay, so that was already a fast shake. Dang it. I didn't think it was going to be that fast. Like, I know how the trees work and everything. But man, I didn't think it was uh, that fast of a shake. But I guess it was. It was a fast shake from the start, though. Clefable level 14, Wooloo level 13. We'll leave levels at level 24. We'll probably evolve that this episode or next episode. Probably next episode. Okay, two, one orange berry. Actually, I might use that orange berry now. Just to get that uh, little bit of HP we just lost out on. Alright, I know we're missing one HP, but that's, that's really not a lot. We should be fine. Hello, tent lady. Are you going to stop me to tell me about camping? No, you are not. It's actually very sweet of you. I was hoping for a hidden item there, but I guess we'll just have to move on. Alright, let's avoid all these Pokemon. What's this item? Ooh, a super potion. That's handy. Alright, please tell me there's someone here to heal my Pokemon. There is. I think that's what that lady's for. And there's an item here. What do we got? X defenses. Those will be nice to sell. Hi, I mean, my little sister set ourselves up to, to Pokemon Center service. Awesome. Thank you very much. We really needed that. Alright, so we still have Arakuda out front, right? I want Arakuda to get the bulk of the XP because it's definitely the weakest Pokemon on our team right now. No, I really wanted the... That thing. Ugh. I've never actually battled one of those. And I'm pretty sure you battle those things. Right, there's no items, unfortunately. That's rough. I love the way the Galar mines look. They look really nice in this game. Alright, find a revive. Perfectly getting sick for a battle. Awesome. Well, um, hopefully we can ruin that sinking. <laughs> Alright, so we beat the construction work pretty easy. Alright, let's go get some more items. I don't remember how many battles are, like, in here. Oh, there's just an item over here. What do we got? Uh, three Great Balls. Not bad. I think this leads to a TM up here. Yeah, it does. I remember. Rock Blast. That's actually going to be super handy if we have... We do have the Pokemon that can learn it, actually. Uh, we have Diglett. And it is not a TM. It, or a TR, so... Uh, at least I don't think it was a TR. Uh... No, it's a regular move. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm not going to teach it to it just yet. Uh, D Diglett's actually quite useless right now. We're battling rock types and then a grass type gym and then a water type gym. So really, Diglett's probably not going to get much use this early in the game. Uh, the tracks, I believe, lead out. So we're going to go look for the item that'll be up here. All right, any other items? Oh, bag of Stardust. That'll sell. And scary face. Completely useless. I will probably never use that. Literally ever. Uh, no other items. Oh, we got an item. Ooh, a hard stone. Interesting. Who's the power of rock type moves? That's definitely something we're probably going to end up giving to Diglett. We're about to go over my favorite part here in the Galar Mines, where you can see, like, the other half of the mine. Oh, it looks so nice. Alright, but yeah, this is my favorite part of the Galar Mines. Being able to see down below like that, that looks super cool. 
But I don't know what this item is going to be. A pair of heavy duty boots. Alright, well, that's a very circumstantial item. Alright, we're going to have this lady to battle here in a minute. Or a dude. Oh, there's an item here I missed. There's an aura Pokemon here, you know what? The Watts might come in handy. If I see an aura Pokemon, I'm probably gonna take it down just for a couple spare Watts. Cause you get Watts super slow early game. The whole beginning of the game when I played through Sword, I thought BD here was a gym leader, not a gym trainer. Uh, do I have, I have to battle you, don't I? Okay, that's what I thought. Just looking for spare items here. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. Uh, you are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion. I don't know about that. Because he gets to endorse. The champion endorsed two people while the chairman only endorsed one. So. Okay, so you're starting out with a psychic. I'm not sure how that's going to affect me. Oh, wait, I have Bite, don't I? We should be good. Oh, it wasn't even a one-shot. Really hoping for a one-shot there. Oh, nice, we got the flinch, too. Okay, that's awesome. I always forget that Bite allows for a flinch. All right, Solosis is down. Uh, I thought Wolda was going to hit 15 there, but I guess not. Uh, Gothita being a dark type. I guess we'll just continue on with our Akuda for now. Right, we're going to use Aqua Jet again. Uh, when we get out of this road, I will have to actually take our Akuda out of the lead. Uh, because there's a bunch of Pikachus and Eevees and uh, Electrikes. Hopefully Moonblast is going to be enough to uh, knock this thing out. Okay, it was. Perfect. What, are you, what is your last Pokemon going to be, BD? Alright, Wooloo and Diglett both leveled up. Cool. Actually, Diglett might be the Pokemon we uh, use next. Or in the next part of the route, actually, before Turfield. Because... Because it's going to be immune to... Uh, Whatever those are. The electric Pokemon here. That's right, Hatina is just Psychic type right now. I always forget that it's now Psychic Fairy until after you evolve it. But I mean, Meteor Mash still did a good amount of damage, so we'll stick with it. Oh, Clefable, you are awesome. Thank you for uh, powering through that confusion for me. We're gonna learn Horn Attack. 65 damage, that's actually really nice. We're gonna get rid of Tail Whip. Alright, we beat Beatty, awesome. So A, let's see if there's any other items here, which there are. A bag of Stardust, we can sell that. Alright, nothing else. Uh, let's go ahead and swap out Diglett. Actually, uh, I want to check your summary. I want to know what you have. Uh, Mud Slap, Sand Attack. You don't have any Rock-type moves, but what I can do to make you a little bit stronger... I didn't think I'd be doing this this early, but I will go ahead and give you... Never mind, I will not give you Rock Blast. I would have thought that you'd be able to learn Rock Blast. All right, then. That's pretty rude. All right, so I guess we're just sticking with the ground-type moves. Thank you for healing me up. I think this is actually one of the cooler routes in the whole game. Like, you can see the entire town of Turfield behind you. You can see all, like, the... Uh, the plains and stuff, the fields of wheat, and I, I just think it's really nice looking. I actually ended up 
uh, completely missing a couple trainers in this area my first play through a sword. And when we went to go and grab all of the uh, Pokemon to get the shiny charm, I actually ended up having to battle them. I don't want to miss out on any items here this time. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I said don't touch. Not allowed. Okay, we got a couple of nest balls. Ooh, a rare candy. That's nice. Uh, that's an actual Pokemon. I think there might be one or two trainers per little area here. Okay, I didn't think he'd be able to attack me through the wall, but you know what? Fair game. That's fine. Is there any other Pokemon in... or trainers in this grass? There's a couple of items. Okay, I was able to get... Uh, get away from those electrics. Nice. Now, oddly enough, for these Eevee ladies, I might actually bring out Wooloo for the first time. I think it might be the first time I've battled with Wooloo since uh, getting it. Ooh. Pin Missile might be a decent move. Alright, uh, Pokemon. Wooloo knows Double Kick. I know Surfetch knows Rock Smash, but really, that's just not a good move. Let's be real here, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and grab all the items in here. X accuracies. Hello, Diglett. We've got one of you, you know. And I just ran straight into this one. Whoopsie. Didn't really want to do that. Alright. Wait, are we all done with trainers? I think we're all done with trainers already. Okay, so we just have an item here. I thought there was another trainer back here. Okay, I guess not. Cool. All right. Well, that was nice and easy. Is there an item in this corner? No. All right, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Wait, what is this? Is that Hop? No, it's... Oh, the farmer guy. Crashed into me? You mean use Tackle on me? That's very rude of you to let your Wooloo attack me like that, sir. You do know I'm just a little girl here, right? You just let your sheep attack me? Yes, I am indeed a gym challenger that you just assaulted. Milo, or is it Milo? I'm gonna go with Milo. Although Milo sounds more fun. Uh, I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed uh, gym challengers are. Let me find out at the gym stadium, just head through the route and you'll run into my stadium. Yeah, I can li you literally just point right over there. I can see it. It's the big bowl with a leaf on it, right? Pretty sure it's right over there. Hop, you're not gonna challenge me, are you? Don't challenge me. Turfield Stadium down there. Yeah. I've been able to see that this whole time, ever since I left the mines. Alright, so we gotta go meet up with Sonya. Uh, she's up there on the hill uh, to talk about things, I guess. Bye-bye, Yamper. We'll see you uh, in a bit. Actually, we'll see you next episode, because I think we're gonna heal up here. And that'll be about where we leave it off for today. All right, my Pokemon are all healed. Pretty exciting episode. We actually managed to evolve our Farfetch'd into Surfetch'd, which is super crazy. Now, Surfetch'd and Clefable are pretty much the top two Pokemon on my team right now. Uh, in between episodes, I'm actually going to go ahead and train up and get all of my Pokemon to level 20. Uh, that's the idea, anyway. Uh, because currently, I seem to be a, a wee bit under-leveled, unfortunately. Uh, next episode, though, we're, the first thing we're going to do is talk to Sonya, and then we're going to take on the gym challenge for the first one. Uh, we should be fine. Like, half of our team knows flying-type moves. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. And maybe next episode, Wooloo will evolve. And maybe Diglett and Arakuda as well. They only gotta get to 26. It's six more levels higher than, uh, we're gonna be at the start of the next episode. But I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are enjoying the series. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like as usual. And peace. That was all over the place. Bam. Wasn't even facing the camera. Professional.